sexual reproduction in flowering plant topic you have to discuss one more most important part that is pollen pistil interaction that means how pollen grain and pistil interact each other after pollination friends in this part we have to discuss three important concept one is what do you mean by compatibility and incompatibility then at the same time how pollen grains germinate on stigma that is pollen grain germination third pollen tube growth on stigma and also in pistil that is third part we have to discuss first we consider compatibility and incompatibility we know already how pollination is take place generally pollination may takes place by abiotic component like water and wind the biotic component like different types of animals namely insects birds ants bats even lizards some mammals they involved in the process of a pollination at the same time even the pollination is also carried out artificial by human being that we called anthropophily but uh, during pollination process the pollination is not a a selective process selective process means the pollen grain of hibiscus flower only transfer to the pollen grains of hibiscus stigma rose pollen grain transfer to the rose only but uh, naturally it will not uh, what happens because pollination process is a not selective process it is it is actually a not selective process that means all the pollen grains may transferred by the pollinating agent for example on a rose stigma there may be transfer of rose pollen grain or sunflower pollen grain or hibiscus pollen grain or even other plants pollen grain also therefore pollination is not a selective process hence here the during pollination there may be a wrong type means a foreign species pollen grain may dusted one option or in other words there may be a right type that means own species pollen grain may be dusted based on that there is a a compatibility and incompatibility process will be involved suppose you take uh, the compatibility phenomenon in this case the own type of pollen grain is dusted or in other words we say right type of pollen grain that means rose pollen grain 
dusted down rose stigma hibiscus pollen grain dusted down hibiscus jasmine pollen grain dusted on a jasmine only at that time what happens pollen grain germinates pollen tube grows fertilization is take place that process is called compatibility that means matching of pollen grain and matching of what a stigmatic tissue of the particular pistil is take place then in compatibility once again there is a, a one a complex process is there that is the only compatibility we seen in case of what if pollen grain transferred from another flower of the same species at that time compatibility is take place then next one incompatibility here wrong type pollen grain dusted on stigma or in other words there may be a foreign species means other species pollen grain dusted on stigma at that time generally there is no pollen grain germination pollen tube growth on stigma even pollen grain may not reach to the what a ovule or megasporangium that process what we call the name incompatibility but uh, one of the most important adaptation we see that what we call self incompatibility it is the case the own pollen grain dusted on their own flower stigma that itself indirectly what we call self pollination or autogamy at that time pollen grain may not germinate that process what we call self incompatibility due to self incompatibility in most of the flower there is a chance of what cross pollination this diagram represents totally three flowers first and second flower belongs to same species but born on two different plants whereas third flower is belongs to different species that is foreign species suppose if a pollen grain transfer from yanthara of one flower to stigma of another flower belongs to same species at that time that pollen grain germinate pollen tube growth is take place and reach the ovule this process what we call the name compatibility suppose if the pollen grain transfer from the foreign flower foreign species flower wrong species a flower or in other words the other species flower at that time the pollen grain may not germinate although pollination is take place but this pollen grain may not germinate this process what we call the name incompatibility that is mismatching we may called but technically that word mismatching is wrong near game but we have to use word compatibility and incompatibility suppose the pollen grain from yanthar of flower to a stigma of same flower is take place see here if pollen grain transfer of from yanthar of same flower to stigma of same flower at that time the pollen grain may not germinate that process what we call self incompatibility and all this compatibility as well as incompatibility pinon develops into female gametophyte <coughs> dialogue between generate 
पोलन ग्रेन एंड पिस्टिल माइचेरिया पोलन ग्रेन एंड पिस्टिल देर फोर देर हेडिंग इट सेल्फ वी टेकन पोलन पिस्टिल इंट्रैक्शन देन वॉट यू मीन बाई दिस बायोकेमिकल डायलॉग दैट मीन्स हियर स्टिग्मा रिलीज ए पर्टिकुलर केमिकल against that a chemical pollen grain also release matching chemical then once again second chemical is released by stigma then at the same time pollen grain also release second matching chemical in such a way biochemical interaction takes place between pollen grain and pistil then the decision maker may be pollen grain or what the pistil sometimes what happens first time first pollen grain release the chemical and respect to matching chemical is released by the stigma therefore the biochemical dialogue between pollen grain and pistil it shall play a very important role to recognize whether their own type of pollen grain or it is a foreign species pollen grain is recognized by the specially during pollen pistil interaction in a pollen pistil interaction next term you have to consider pollen grain germination as we know if a right type of pollen grain dusted on a stigma of a flower or their own species pollen grain if dusted on a, a stigma of a flower immediate pollen grain germination takes place on stigma this pollen germination process generally a depends on a temperature then at the same time humidity and most important thing is that certain the chemical factors play a very important role for example 10% a sucrose solution helps to germinate pollen grain therefore in our practical class generally a 10% sugar solution sucrose refers to now we have sugar table sugar cane sugar that sucrose solution we used but naturally in case of plant body along with that there is a presence of boron and inositol therefore the boron and uh, inositol a b complex uh, play a very a complex play a very important role in a pollen germination because sucrose solution provide energy for the pollen germination whereas boron and inositol complex a uh, stimulate the process of pollen germination then next one is pollen uh, tube growth on stigma once uh, pollen tube germination is take place at that time that pollen tube emerge from the germinating pore you know in pollen grain three or four part showing a gap of exine where there is no deposition of sporopollenin at all where small aperture is there that what is called germinating pore through that germinating pore pollen tube emerges once pollen tube growth is take place immediately pollen tube a releases some chemicals as a result stylar tissue dissolve and slowly growth of the a pollen tube is take place suppose if pollen grain is of their own type natural pollen growth is take place if it is wrong type incompatibility is take place pollen tube will not grow therefore there are certain obstacles are there during pollen tube growth on stigma if there is a incompatibility 
द मिस मैचिंग ऑफ पोलन ग्रेन एंड स्टिकमा और रॉन्ग टाइप ऑफ पोलन ग्रेन इज डिपोजिटेड ऑन द स्टिकमा एट दैट टाइम इन कंपेटिबिलिटी स्टेट पेस मिस मैचिंग स्टेट पेस फर्स्ट देर इज नो चांस ऑफ पोलन जेरिमिनेशन फर्स्ट बैरियर फर्स्ट ब्लॉक फर्स्ट स्टॉप वी मे से और नो पोलन ट्यूब ग्रोथ इफ सपोज पोलन जेरिमिनेशन एंड पोलन ट्यूब ग्रोथ इज टेक प्लेस एट दैट टाइम नो पोलन ट्यूब रीच द एग सपोज इफ इट रीच द एग नो फर्टिलाइजेशन इफ फर्टिलाइजेशन इज टेक प्लेस नो यम्रियो फॉर्मेशन और नो यंडोस पर्म फॉर्मेशन इन सच ए वे देर इज एक्जिस्टेंस ऑफ वॉट द इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी हेन्स दर्वेज इफ कंपैटिबिलिटी इज टेक प्लेस नेचुरली पोलन ग्रेन जेरिमिने पोलन ट्यूब ग्रोथ इज टेक प्लेस पोलन ट्यूब रीच द एग फर्टिलाइजेशन इज टेक प्लेस embryo formation and endosperm formation that is post fertilization is take place finally there is a formation of seeds and fruits in the plant body in such a way this compatibility and incompatibility phenomenon play a very important role in plant reproduction to force the growth of the a pollen tube takes place slowly tend towards the ovum during that process the pollen tube get nourishment from style because the style contain rich nutrients that is carbohydrates and proteins it is dissolved by certain enzymes released by the pollen tube and reach the ovule smaller in size haploid in nature and contain less cycle up to how 90% of the plants pollen tube enter through the microphyll that what we call porogenes chalazas the small aperture is there we call microphyll through that microphyll are end there is a end by the some plants directly pollen tube enters through the chalazal end that what we call chalazogamy मेगा through the integument arch entry of pollen tube into the ovule in such a way pollen tube growth is take place on the uh, specially pistil